the picture house in Marketplace. It was also called the Regal, the Asoldo, the Classic, Canon and the Apollo. When it was the Regal, it had an organ and blue velvet double seats. The Apollo was the last cinema in Dewsbury to close in 1993. It's not clear how much of the original fascia still exists, but recently some of the back of the building has been demolished and part of the dome can clearly be seen. I remember one thing that was interesting about it, when you take over from a manager, they show you around the office and the things that are there, and you show me around and he said, the safe's in there, the safe is there, that's where they keep all the petty cash and everything. Right. And I think, well, I can't see any safe, <laughs> can't see anything. And they said, I said, excuse me, but where is the safe? He said, oh, it's here. And they wallpapered over a door and you opened the door and the safe was inside. Right. The Pioneer House, built for the Pioneers Industrial Society. Part of the building was later converted to a cinema. Yes, the ticket um, kiosk was on the ground floor as you went in. Right. You got your ticket, then next to it was the lift, and you went up in the lift mm -hmm. to the level of the cinema. The Trinity Chapel stood on the corner of Halifax Road and Wellington Road. It became the Majestic Cinema and later the Rex Bingo Hall. Part of the building became the Galleon Dance Hall and then a furniture shop. It was demolished around 1985. The Theatre Royal dates back to the 1800s. It was destroyed by fire on the 4th of May 1895. Work started on rebuilding the theatre on June 26th of the same year and it reopened on the 12th of August 1895. It was later converted to a cinema called the Tudor. It was reconstructed with this theme and opening night was set for Monday the 6th of July 1931. It was announced on March 27th 1965 in the local paper that the Tudor would close that night. 
An article on February the 15th, 1974, in the local paper, announced it had met its D for demolition day. The location is now a car park, and part of the ground in which it stood is under the current ring road. The Playhouse opened in October 1931. It was later taken over by the ABC chain. The building was later used as a bingo hall. The Playhouse Dewsbury opened in December 1933 and was another project of Lou Morris, later to be taken over by ABC. When films were dropped at the Playhouse, Mecca moved in and adapted the cinema for use as a social club, in which guise it is seen here during a CTA visit. In 1932, with so many undertakings under his direction, John Maxwell had formed the Associated British Picture Corporation as a holding company. This took over the capital of British International Pictures, British Instructional Films, Wardour Films, Pathé Pictures and the original Associated British Cinemas Company. By then, the circuit had 147 cinemas. I'm going to feel quite lost. I'm not as far off as you might think, son. Always remember, a man's best friend is his pocket, and I've got my eye on you. And the money. I'll look after it. You'd better.
Mickey. Oh, Ethel. Come on, you'll be late for church. Oh, I'll not be going to church this morning, Ethel. That's new. Yours? Oh. Um, have some things to sort out at warehouse. I'll see you later, eh? Barfield? Fifty years ago, that was all trees and green fields. You'd hardly credit it, would you? I wouldn't. There's still a green patch over yonder. But we'll soon have that covered up. We don't let grass grow under our feet at Barfield. Obviously not. But, Chaley, it's all so grimy. Ah, it is that. But we've a saying here, you know, where there's muck, there's money. <laughs> Came here when I was a lad. I never fancied moving. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. 